So let's let's talk specifically of what that process looks like, how you find artists, how you onboard them, like, you know, speak through the whole whole thing. Yeah. So we can, yeah. Well, one of the things that we did do is we did put together a mastermind music team that had a lot of experience in the music industry because I don't, which is actually kind of nice because I, I get to learn everything fresh and I don't have any inherent biases of the past or any of that. So much of what we hear is that first. So when artists first come on, they can apply. Some cases we've created partnerships with different producers or different songwriters to really bring bring in artists. And so there's different ways to be able to come in. The other part of that is they they all will meet through what we call an underwriting process. Someone within our within our team will talk through their strategy like I want to make ten thousand dollars or one hundred thousand dollars or I want to grow this base. There's different strategies that we think are really important to, to build that. So that's kind of like the base level. The second level of this is I, I'm maybe from an old school genre where like festivals were really fun. And we used to like listen to live music and you'd always have the opening band and you'd have a few opening bands. And that's how you discovered new music at the like college bars. And I'm like the, the thing that bothers me the most about the NFT space is it's not fun. I'm like, where's the listening parties? When are we like taking in the new music? For us as well is when we work with a headline artist, for example, we ask the headline artists to acknowledge, give a kiss, give a blessing, giving a cosign to three emerging artists. Like this whole notion of it just being, you know, oh, these live sort of like high level artists, like we need to think about the community. And so having the emerging artists and mid-tier artists on a ticket. And then through that, we market, promote and work with the strategies so that we can really support them, whether it's through the socials and the education. The other thing that's really important that I think for artists to understand is that they need to become the educator at first of their audience. Mm -hmm. They need to onboard their audience because without education and onboarding the audience, they have no idea what you're trying to sell them. Like they really don't. And so we can't underestimate that enough. So we provide all of the materials, all of the socials, all of the education, the videos so that artists can onboard their fan bases effectively. And I think that's the most important part of it.